So you need to do this test at least 10 days before your interview day. So make sure that when they send you that email to complete it, you book in a slot and complete it as soon as possible, really. Hey my loves and you welcome back to my channel. So I'm Priscilla and I go by Celeste on this channel. And on here we discuss everything um, education and lifestyle related. So if that's the type of content you're interested in, make sure that you um, subscribe and turn your post notifs on so that you don't miss anything that posts on here. So in today's video, I'm going to be um, addressing something that I get so many questions on, both here on YouTube and like on my Instagram. Questions about the um, details about the UCL pharmacy interview and um, selection day. People ask me, oh, what do I bring? How's the day structured? Just things like that. So I just thought I'd do one video um, explaining everything that you need to know and um, before the day of interview, on the day of interview, and even after the day, okay? So it's literally, this video is just like all encompassing everything you need to know about the UCL MFAM um, interview and selection day. So let's get right into it. So the first thing they want you to do is to complete the online test, okay? So you need to do this test at least 10 days before your interview day. So make sure that when they send you that email to complete it, you um, book in a slot and complete it as soon as possible, really. Um, it's a one hour test, you can use a calculator um, and make sure that you're in like a really quiet place that you have a big screen because it's timed and once you start it, you won't be able to stop it until the time runs out. You need to make sure that whenever you start it and wherever you are when you start it, it's a conducive place for you to take an exam. So don't use a phone for it, you need to have a big screen just so that you don't miss any of the information that's being presented to you. So a big screen, a quiet room, um, good internet connection. I have a different video on the actual um, entry test, which I'll link up over here. It contains a couple of math questions, a couple of situational judgment questions as well, and also has um, an essay for you to complete at the end. If you want to know more about that, so make sure that you check the other video out. I won't go into detail in this video. The second thing they want you to do before you come to the um, interview day is to complete the fitness of practice um, declaration on their Moodle. So as part of the emails that they'll send you there'll be a link um, connecting you to the um, UCL School of Pharmacy Moodle that allows you to create an account and to complete the fitness to practice um, declaration if there's anything you need to declare make sure that you declare it if you're not too sure what you need to declare there'll be an email in that fitness to practice um, form and you can email somebody in the school about it if you have any questions or any queries but yeah make sure that you do the fitness to practice declaration before you go to the school for your interview if you have any um, accessibility issues so any hearing impairments any physical impairments that will um, make access to the interview um, a bit more difficult for you then they'd like you to call them and let them know or email them and let them know so that they can make um, provisions for you before the day so now it brings me to what to do and what to bring on the day of interview so the first thing dress code what should i wear you are applying for or you're going to be interviewed for a professional career okay pharmacy you're expected to look professional so dress professionally no jeans no trainers no hoodies none of that just professional if you're in sit form it's basically what you wear to school every day a nice skirt um nice trousers a good shirt a blazer if you if you don't mind wearing that you don't have to wear a blazer just basically anything that makes you look professional, hair done nice, all of that, what to bring. So they won't be able to make you an offer if they haven't confirmed your identity in person on the selection day. Take a photo ID with you. So anything like a passport, um, your driver's license, things like that, because they need to be able to verify your identity in person at the selection day before they can make you an offer. So don't forget to do that. Pack your bags the day before or the night before so that when you wake up in the morning and you've got all this adrenaline rush, you're nervous, you're anxious about the interview, that you don't forget anything. So before you go to sleep the night before, pack your bags, put your photo ID in. If you need to go over your personal statement on the train, put it in your bag, just everything you'll need. Pack your bag the night before so that you don't forget anything in case you're in a rush in the morning. Now to the day and how it'll be structured. So um, during my time anyway, um, check-in started from um, quarter past 12 um, to 12.15 
50 and the day actually begins um, at 1 p.m. The day starts with a talk at 1 p.m. and um, you go into one of the lecture halls, you have a talk from the head of school. They will talk to you about like the course structure, what studying pharmacy at UCL is like, and um, what to expect if you do get in, a couple of things that they're proud of about their university the pharmacy course at UCL, what they think you would be excited about as well. Just like things like that really. And then after the talk, you'll be allocated into groups, okay? So different groups, some of the groups will start with the interview first and then have a tour of the school and some activities later. Because it's quite like a number of people coming in on the same day, all of you can't have your interview at the same time. They have a couple of um, student ambassadors who will lead you to your interview. I'll come to details about the interview later, but half of you will have your interview first and then um, have a tour around the university and just do some activities as well. Drug compositions, looking through microscopes, just things like that really at the end and the other group will have their tour first and then the interview at the end just so that they can make time for everybody to make sure that you all get um, both an interview and a tour. Also you might be thinking oh is there going to be food um, available? I surely was. I was like should I bring, I mean obviously you can bring some snacks and whatever but they'll have um, refreshments um, in the afternoon like around lunch time. You're free to buy any food from the cafe or from the shops around the university. Into the interview there will be a panel interview you could be interviewed by some of the lecturers over there you could be interviewed by some senior pharmacy students and um, you could be interviewed by um, actual like pharmacists We're going to have a couple of stations either two or three stations with either two or three and um, panel interviewers okay but it's not scary honestly you'll be fine you have a bell um, alerting you to enter your station your interview begins you have like a set amount of time at the end of that time the bell is gonna go again you'll be asked to stand outside of your station and wait for the next station to get their notes together and everything and be ready for you when the next interviewer is ready for you the bell will go again and all of you will go into your next stations so that's just how it'll run it's like a panel interview but with different stations okay and some of the questions you'll be asked and um, might be based on the results or the answers you gave in your online test um, and so just kind of like remember what you put especially for the essay you might be asked about that could, they could ask you anything really I have a whole um, other video dedicated to the um, UCL and farm interview which I'll link up here so if you need to know more about that you can watch that I won't go into detail in this one after your interview um, they'll get back to you um, to let you know if they're happy to give you a conditional offer um, or if you have your grades already then obviously it would be an unconditional offer I think for me they got back to me me under a week or two I can't really remember it wasn't that long after the interview that I heard from them but obviously it'll vary for different people you not hearing from them in a long time does not mean that you failed it does not mean that you haven't got in just wait until they get back to you you will you will hear from them and this is what happens on the day this is all you need to know and all you need to do before the day on the day and after the day as well just waiting to hear back from them I hope that you found it helpful like I said I get so many questions about this about what do I bring like how's the day gonna be structured things like this I hope that what I've gone through um, in this one answers all those questions and puts your mind at ease when it comes to how the day is going to be run obviously they'll have correspondences with you before you actually go in so you'll get emails from them explaining all of this but before that before you get that email I thought I'd make this video just so you kind of like have an idea of what to expect all the best with that interview honestly you should be fine it's not that deep I was completely fine with that interview if you haven't had an interview before I do understand that it might be it might seem a bit daunting but honestly like you've got this you should be completely fine with that and yeah you should walk out feeling really good about yourself hopefully <laughs> after you've done that interview if you have any questions any comments that you'd like me to address i'm more than happy to do that in the comment section take care eat well and i'll see you in the next one